we are going to make some elderflower cordial today. There's beautiful, beautiful elderflower blossoms here. It grows on trees wild in Britain. It smells it amazing. Smells beautiful. It's it's best of summer. If you want to make this, it's best to make it at the beginning of the season while the elderflowers mm. are fresh and ripe and lovely. Um, so elderflower cordial, what do you need? Well, you need some freshly picked elderflower. Still has the morning dew on it. <laughs> uh, unwaxed lemon. Citric acid. Citric acid is quite difficult to get. You have to get it at a pharmacy. Something to do with drugs, I believe. You can't have they only sell you one packet at a time. Um, <laughs> your cordial habit. Yeah. <laughs> now, one thing, talking of drugs, one thing you can't overlook when you make homemade cordial is the pure uh, amount of sugar that goes into it. Uh, that's why it's so sweet. Um, but I would like to point out that this is going to make about two litres of cordial, um, which you dilute with water, so it should last you an awful long time. And how many cups is that, roughly, or glasses? Uh, I think that is about 80 pints. So a that's a lot of cordial. So the first thing we're going to do is take over the sugar over to the stove and pour it in. And I've got a three quarters of a litre of water there. And I'm going to pour that in. And I'm going to put it on a medium heat. I don't want it to boil. I just want all the sugar to dissolve. Do you just want to pick through this uh -huh. and check that there's no bugs or grit or anything in it? Yeah. Uh, we just need to pare the lemon. Try not to get any of the white stuff on because that's the bitter stuff. We just want the yellow stuff. And with the cordial, you don't just have to drink it. You can put fizzy water with it, you can put it with champagne, mm. you can pour it over a sorbet. It's really lovely if you um, mm. gently fold it through some whipped cream and make a pavlova out of it. It's nice in a fool. Um, make it into, use it for jelly. Make it into jelly yeah. or have it, um, use it as a little bit of liquid on rhubarb. And when you cook the rhubarb, you've got mm, rhubarb and elderflower. Yeah, and that's gorgeous. really nice. Let's be very careful with this sugar syrup because it's very, very hot. It's all dissolved. So I'm going to slowly bring it just up to the boil. And then I'm going to keep watching it all the time. I don't want it to catch or get too boil too vigorously. Um, and as soon as it boils, I'm going to turn it, take it off the heat and I'm going to stir everything in, the elderflower, the lemon, the lemon zest, and the citric acid. And then it needs to infuse for about 24 hours. Um, and it's really important to do that because you really want it to be as, to get as much as you can flavour from the elderflowers. I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to bring over the elderflower. You need about 10 heads for this amount. Um, almost feels cruel putting it in all this <laughs> lovely, don't kill me, don't kill me. This is basically, it's just stewing now. So you've got the lemon the lemon to go in. So you've turned actually turned turned lemon zest. Yeah, it's off. Lemon zest goes in. Lemon slices go in. And the last thing we want is the citric acid. Okay. There's about 40 grams here. It's half to. a packet actually, just because it's all I had. I'm just going to stir all that through. Mm, it smells lovely. And we're going to put it on the back of the oven, out of the way. 24 hours. So this delicious concoction has been um, steeping for 24 hours now. I'm just going to carefully pour it through here. Whoops! <laughs> and that waste a drop. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Mm. It's like a potpourri. Isn't mm. it? Gorgeous. That's just going to drip through and then we're going to Enjoy a glass. Mm, Enjoy lovely. About two glasses. Yeah. And I think if you make something very similar and leave it for a bit longer, you um, get elderflower champagne. Really? Which I would love to make. Right, OK. I'm going to grab a couple of bits of ice. Do you want sparkling? Yes, please. And like I said, I'm going to grab a couple of bits of ice. That is literally all we've got. <laughs> One. Two. So not only is it fun to pick, it's fun to make, it's delicious to drink, and you save money. What more could you ask for? Cheers. Cheers. Subscribe, perhaps while sipping a glass of homemade, homemade elderflower cordial. Mm. Cheers. Lovely. Really lovely. I could drink a lot of that. We're, we're sisters, sisters and, and together, together we're crumbs. We both like cooking and, and we, we love food and chocolate and red wine. <laughs>